What's up, everybody? It's Tuck here. Today we're going to be reviewing two games. They're both first-person shooters. They're both pretty good games. They were both highly anticipated for the year. They're Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3. Now, both of these games were in high competition throughout the year. They were People were saying which one's going to be better, all the fanboys, even the studios that made the game. They were... Well, mostly Battlefield was... Their studio was arguing with uh, DICE. They were saying, oh, our game's going to be better. And... So, now that they're both finally out, we can both... We can see what they have to offer. What's what with each game. So, let's get started. Um, first, we're going to start off with Battlefield 3. Now, since it came out first... With this, you, I got the limited edition. You get the uh, Back to Karkin expansion pack, which is pretty much they don't call it a map pack because well, Battlefield's different. They call it an expansion pack because it comes with new weapons, new vehicles, new achievements, all that. Um, you also get your online pass, which pretty much allows you to get access to the Back to Karkin. You get Pre-ordering at GameStop, I got, I got um, the physical warfare pack, which pretty much wasn't really worth the money, because they're not that good. Of, well, actually, the uh, light machine gun was—I forget what it was called. That one's pretty good. That was really the only good gun out of it. The Dow shotgun, I didn't like too much and all that. So that's what you get from pre-ordering GameStop. Um, you also get early access to the. Uh, Mass Effect 3 demo, uh, not demo, the, uh, beta, which they said there's going to be an announcement in January, so we can expect that, like, maybe middle of next year, so we'll see how Mass Effect 3 goes. Um, you also get a little gun, which comes from the gun club. I did it, but I used the email so I don't get spammed. A different email for all spam. Um... Battlefield 3 altogether is a pretty good game. The campaign is very reminiscent of uh, Black Ops, because you're pretty much one guy reliving past events to try and stop a terror threat, which is pretty much what Black Ops was about. You're pretty much trying to stop a terror threat before it happens by going back in time and seeing what happened and all that to see what you could do. And that's pretty much what this campaign was about, so really not all campaigns are different anymore. Everybody's trying to make this almost the same campaign. Um, this game is mostly for the multiplayer, which is what most games are nowadays. And multiplayer is beautiful. The graphics look nice. They look very, very detailed. Not as detailed as they are on the PC, but the PS3 is pretty good. Um, you have the vehicles, which is what makes Battlefield Battlefield. You have the big maps, which also makes Battlefield Battlefield. Um, the big teams, the different weapons. Um, now the gameplay of the multiplayer is pretty much not a running gun game. If you're running gun, you're going to fail, so you have to work with your team. Uh, the sort of spec ops aspect of the game is pretty much you and one other friend or a random person. You go through like camp missions, which is remnant, like sort of like the campaign, but not as, not as the same. It doesn't go along with the story. But you are working together to try and complete an objective. A lot of them are stealthy, so you have to work together, you have to count down and all that, take, it, take shots. Um, altogether, this game is up to the hype. Not all the way, because there are a few hiccups right now and all that. But I'm sure they'll patch those sooner or later. This game altogether, though, I think is pretty good. I like it, I enjoyed playing it, all the different aspects of it, all together this is a pretty good game. Next, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, probably can't see it because of the glare, so I'm sorry about that. 
But it is Modern Warfare 3. It is part of the trilogy, so to speak, of Modern Warfare. It ends it. So, we're finally going to have a resolution to the Modern Warfare series. Where you got to try to find Makarov and kill him. But I'm not going to spoil how that ends. Um. Oh. This game is like Battlefield, like all first person shooters, based on the multiplayer. And pretty much that's really what you're going to buy most games for nowadays is the multiplayer. So, um, what you get with this really, I didn't pre order because I didn't really think I was going to get it, but I did get it, so I can't judge it on the pre order. Or what, like limited editions and all that. But I know there was a hardened edition. You get the Call of Duty Elite for free, included in the hardened edition. But if you want to buy the hardened edition extra just by itself, it's forty nine ninety nine. So it actually pretty is a good deal if you're getting all the DLCs. They said there's gonna be like twenty DLCs over nine months. So fifteen dollars over nine months for twenty DLCs. That's pretty good. You also get like level up your clan and all that, so you can get double XP for your entire clan. So, I don't know if it's just if one member has to be elite for your whole clan to member up, level up, and everybody else can be just the normal elite thing for the free services. I don't know about that. Um, the campaign is pretty good. I like how it ended the game, so I'm not going to say anything in it. But it was a pretty good campaign. Um, the multiplayer didn't really change much from Modern Warfare 2, but it did have a lot of new aspects, like such as new game modes, such as Kill Confirmed, Team Defender. Now, Kill Confirmed, you have to grab dog tags, pretty much Team Deathmatch, just grab the dog tags after you get the kill to confirm it. So this pretty much doesn't promote camping as much, but still there are some campers, but that's why they lose the game always, because they can't get up there to get the dog tag. Now, Team Defender, that is promoting camping, because when you have the flag, you want to hold it, so your whole team's going to be camping with you to defend you, so it's pretty much, that really promotes camping a lot. <laughs> Those are really the only two new game modes in the multiplayer. There are a lot of new weapons, new equipment, such as Bouncing Betty's, which aren't the same as World at War, that are more disc-like. Um, there's a few new perks, such as Stalker Pro and all those, I'm not going to get into those. Um, the kill streaks are no longer kill streaks for the support. They're now point streaks, so you can get points by capturing objectives, destroying SAM turrets, sentry guns. The assault class, the assault strike package is still the same. If you die, your kill streak resets. You get the good kill streaks, such as AC-130s, A6 Overwatch, and all that. Um, the support strike package is if you die, your kill streak does not reset, but you get more kill more point streaks that help your team, such as advanced UAVs, SAM turrets, Juggernaut recon, which isn't the same as the Juggernaut from the assault because you only get a pistol and a riot shield. Um, the specialist class is you get two for two kills, you get a perk. The next two kills, you get another perk. The next two kills, you get another perk. So that sticks all together. Once you get eight kills without dying, you get all the perks in the game. And you're pretty much invincible. And if you can get the 25 kills without dying, with just using your gun, you get the mode which, this, which kills the entire team. Not your team or you, just the entire team all together. And it doesn't end the game, but it EMPs the team the other team for the rest of the game so they can't call in pretty much anything. Um well that's pretty much the multiplayer except for like they got the prestige shop where you can buy things, you can unlock guns that you want now early if you're using a prestige token. Uh they have the theater mode back. What else? I can't think of anything else off the top of my head, so that's pretty much I can th all I can think of for the multiplayer. It was a pretty fun experience. I'm, I'm going to play it for a while longer. I'll probably be going back with, back and forth between Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3. Um, the Spec Ops in this one is... There are more Spec Ops missions. Um, they're more... 
team based, like you and your friend only. You can only have two people. Um, they are pretty fun. You have to work together. Uh, the survival mode is pretty much like combat training, but much more difficult because they get difficult each round. You pretty much play on the multiplayer maps, but you learn how the how how you can do better on the maps, what enemies can do. So, but they get difficult each round. So you and your teammate gotta work together. You can unlock things like sentry guns, grenade launcher sentries, riot shield squads, and all other kinds of weapons. Um, you can call in predator missiles. It eliminated a lot of kill streaks to help you out, but they are a pretty strong kill streaks. So you might want to get one of those every once in a while to help keep you keep your team safe. Um. Uh, so all together for both these games, for this game actually first. Um, this is a pretty fun experience. This is most of your running gun type. So if you want a running gun, this is your game. If you want a lone wolf, it this is your game. If you're not that kind of person that wants to, no, wait, wait. if you're that person that just wants to play by yourself, you don't have a clan or anything, this is your kind of game, because Battlefield, you need a team, if you don't have a team, you're not going to win. If you can't communicate, you're not going to win. Here you can lone wolf it all by yourself, your entire team can probably suck, and you can be the best player in the world, and you could probably still win this game for your team. So all together, this game is a pretty fun game. I had a great experience. This is very replayable, especially the multiplayer. The campaign is maybe one or two times after, because you want to get. If you play the normal difficulty, you're gonna want to have to play it on harder difficulty to unlock the other achievements. Um, now both of these. This is a. I would give this game a nine out of ten. This game, Battlefield, I give a nine out of ten. They're both the same, but the one I would want to play more and more and more. Is Battlefield 3 because it's more team based oriented. That's what I like. I don't like those running gun games. I don't like the one person that's carrying an entire team to victory because that's really annoying because you're, you're pretty much putting your effort in there for your team and the other guy's just carrying that into other entire team to victory and you get really pissed off at the end. But Battlefield 3 is what I think I would like more. Especially with all the vehicles and all that, bigger maps. So, altogether, Battlefield 3, I think, is the best. But I do recommend getting Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 too. They're both very fun. So, get both these games. I recommend it if you don't already have them. You're going to enjoy them. You're not going to regret it. So, that's it for this video. Also, check out my other channel. It should be down in the check the Get your butt to these places. It should be TuckDog93. I'll be doing more commentaries on there once I get more subscribers, so head over onto there. Um like, subscribe this like this video, subscribe to this channel and my channel and all the other channels down there. And that's pretty much it. See ya.